Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. I hope that you are enjoying the episode so far. This is episode 17, and I'm actually pretty excited for this topic. I had another subject or topic that I wanted to talk about at first, but honestly, I just did not feel well equipped to talk about that topic, so I had to come up with something on the fly. And luckily for you guys and myself, the sake of my consistency, I had something in the bag. Today, we're going to be discussing the zones. Now, scrolling on social media, I saw this post and it was just showing these different zones. And if you're watching the video version of the podcast today, I'm going to show you a picture. I'll probably pop it up somewhere on the screen so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but I saw this post and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be a great topic for us to discuss on the Be Dynamic podcast. So we're here and we're going to get straight into the zones. Okay, before we get started, let me set the scene. Think about the summertime. It's it's not quite hot yet, but it's it's hot. You know, it's hot enough for you to get in the pool. And you know when you're first standing outside the pool and you're like, ooh, I know that water cold. But you're trying to get in and you're just easing your way in. Then at one point, you finally like jump in there and you get in the water and you're good. That's what I want you to keep in mind for the zones. When we go into each zone and talking about it, I'm going to use that as a reference for you. So the first zone, this is where you are before growth happens. This is the beginning. This is the comfort zone, okay? The comfort zone is familiar. It's what you know. It's what you have control over. And on this graph, that's the smallest circle. And it's the smallest circle before a reason. Nothing's there. Nothing's there that's going to help you grow. Nothing's there that you need in the next phase of your life. To become the person you want to become, it's going to take change. It's going to take something different. It's going to take something that your comfort zone may not have. Because if your comfort zone actually had that, you would have grown already. The comfort zone is also where you feel safe. It's it's not too much happening. Nobody's challenging you. Nobody's, you're not, it's safe. There's nothing that can harm you. There's nothing that can embarrass you. There's no, there's no room for failure. There's nothing because it's comfortable for you. And with the comfort zone being so safe, there's also no risk for you to take. And with there being no risk to take, there can't be any reward in that zone because with reward comes risk. So now that we know what the comfort zone is, I'm sure most of us have been there. Some of us are already there. We're in the comfort zone right now. How do you, how do you combat the comfort zone? That's the big question for me personally, you have to get over You have to get over the fear, and we're going to talk about that next. You have to get over the fear that comes with getting outside of your comfort zone because sometimes we make up scenarios in our head of what could happen if we get out of our comfort zone, and those things may not even ever happen, but it's just we think of the worst-case scenario every time, and that's what the comfort zone is going to give you because if the comfort zone had a personality, it wants you to stay there. Your brain, it wants you to stay in this comfort zone. It doesn't want to be challenged because then you have to do something different that may or may not hurt us. We may or may not fail. So in my opinion, the best way to combat that comfort zone is to think of all the good that could come out of it. Think about the good, focus on the good that could come out of you getting out of this comfort zone. Stop looking at the negatives of the whole situation. That's only going to further push you deeper and deeper and deeper into your comfort zone. And it's going to be hard for you or anybody else to get you out. And there's so much that you can miss out on by staying in this comfort zone. There's nothing there. The circle is small. Do you know how much is out there in the world for you to experience? If only you would step out of your comfort zone. 
And like I said, we're going to talk about this pool reference, right? Just think about it. You're about to go swimming. Cool. Yeah, let's go do it. You're real excited. Like, yeah, let's go do it. Then you get out there and you're like, uh, I know that water is cold. Or you put your hand in and you're like, ooh, mm -mm. not yet, not yet. Because that outside, the outside, the pool deck, it feels great. You're comfortable there. You're not freezing. Your body isn't in the shock state. So therefore, you, you try to do everything you can to stay out the water for as long as you can. You might go get a snack. You might just chill in the, in the chair just so you don't have to touch the water. But at some point, you try it. At some point, you dip your toe in the water. You're like, oh. You notice even more like, okay, this water is really cold. This is where we get into the next zone. It's the fear zone, AKA what I like to call the change zone. <laughs> so it's the fear zone. It's where, like I said, you're testing the waters. You're putting your foot in that water. You're like, oh, that's cold. If it's cold like that on my feet, I can only imagine what that feels like on my back, on my arms, over my whole body. If it feels like that on my feet. The thing about the fear zone, or AKA the chain zone, that comes when you realize that there is more, okay? Let's say the rest of the family already jumped in. They already having fun. And you're still trying to figure out if you're going to jump in the water or not. But you see everybody else having so much fun. They're experiencing what's on the other side of this fear already. And that's exactly how it is in life. We see everybody living out their dream. We see the good that's happened for pe that's happening for people. And we're scared to put ourselves out there because of what people may say, because of the failures that may come. We're afraid. But realizing that there's more encourages you to just keep moving. It gives you something to look forward to in that zone. And to be honest, each zone will probably have some sort of fear or some amount of fear. But I think this fear zone, this is the hardest one to combat because you're right next to where you were comfortable. You're right. You, you're on the pool deck. You ain't really got to get in the water. You're right there by the pool deck. You can see the fun, right? You can see the fun from the pool deck. You don't have to get in the water. You can see everybody living out their dreams. You can see everybody getting all this success, be bettering their life, being happy. You can see it. So there's no, that comfort, that comfort zone is going to make you think there's no reason for us to jump in. The fear zone is going to give you even more reason. There, we don't really have to do this. We see what could come out of this. We could be freezing right now. I know if you're, if you're anemic, you're feeling me, okay? You're feeling me if you're anemic right now. But once you get out of that fear zone, you can actually experience what you are seeing other people experience. You don't have to just watch it. You can actually live it just like them. The fear zone also causes you to make excuses. You just start coming up with so many reasons as to why you shouldn't jump in the water. You just come up with, oh, it could be something in there. Oh no, the kids could have did this in the pool. Is anybody peeing in the pool? Like you just come up with so many different things as to why you shouldn't jump. Why you shouldn't take that, take that leap of faith and do something differently. Nobody's going to talk about you once you post your first video. Nobody's going to see your first video. Let's just be real. Okay? Stop making up little things in your head that causes you to stop progressing. These little scenarios that we create, like I said, that most likely are not going to happen, they're only there to stop us. They're, they're only there to slow down your progress. Oh, I don't want to get my hair wet. You came to the pool. You knew you were coming to the pool before you came here. Oh, I only have an iPhone. You said you wanted to start a YouTube channel. You knew that three years ago. You can still start the channel with the phone. You can still get in the pool with your hair. Like, <laughs> you just start to make excuses here in the fear zone. And it's only because of the fear you have about what's on the other side. The fear zone is also, it can alter your self-confidence. Because now you start to think, oh, they're doing it. Why can't I do it? Am I not good enough? 
do I not have what it takes to do what they're doing? Like, what is it? You're just in the fear zone. And it's just altering your confidence, okay? It's unfamiliar. You, you've never been here. You've never been in this territory before. You've only lived in your comfort zone. So, of course, if you're walking into something different, you're going to feel self-conscious about what you're walking into, about you walking into this new area. Of course, you're going to feel self-conscious. Of course. But you cannot let that stop you. You cannot. It's kind of, I feel like it's a natural thing that happens with the mind. When you go into something new, when you go into something for unfamiliar, when you go from the familiar to the unfamiliar, I think, yeah, your brain just gets a little, ugh. But you got to have some self-control. Know what thoughts are yours and what thoughts are coming from fear. Once again, how do we combat the fear zone? First thing first, relax. Because it's probably not even that deep. You just turning on the camera is probably not even that deep. Because you know you got to edit it afterwards, right? Before you even post it. You jumping in, putting your legs in first, it's not that deep. That's only part of the journey. So just relax. That's number one, okay? Next, see where you can go after, if you were to overcome this fear that you're in right now, see where you can go. Vision, visualize that in your head. Visualize the success you can have after you take that risk, after you take that leap of faith. Visualize that. Next, analyze the situation. Analyze the good things that could happen from this situation. So now you're relaxed. You can see the good. You can analyze the actual things that can happen. You can even analyze the bad things that can happen. You just have to get yourself, get the good to overpower the bad. Most times in life anyway, the good always overpowers the bad. Because most of the bad is just dramatic, if I'm being honest. It's just dramatic. And that fear is causing us to romanticize all of the bad things that could happen. You, it's just like the pool. You can see all the people having fun. You're not going to drown. <laughs> That's dramatic. You got so many people in the pool with you. Why would anybody let you drown? You got so many supportive people around you. Why would anybody let you drown in that fear zone? What you can also do to make you feel comfortable, create a plan. Come up with, come up with a way that you're going to take it step by step in order to get to success, in order to get to that better life. What are you going to do? Come up with a plan. It makes you a little bit more comfortable if you know what's coming next. First, I'm going to put my right foot in. Then I'm going to put my left foot in. Then, then I'm going to just sit on the step. I'm going to sit on the step in the pool. And then I'm going to just start like putting water on my body, you know, getting my body prepared first. Develop a plan. Create those steps for yourself in order for you to make it out of the fear zone because it's another one. The next one, the next zone is where it gets exciting. It's the learning zone. AK, what I like to call the progress zone. This is where things start to change for real. This is where you see the fruits of the, the fruits of your labor. This is where you see the good that could come out of those changes you made, that could come out of that fear zone. I know what you're thinking. Like, okay, I'm, I'm making some changes. Life must just automatically get better. Not necessarily. The learning zone is where challenges come. You must learn your problem-solving skills. You just got to figure things out here in the learning zone. It's where progress happens. This, the progress zone, I know the growth zone is the biggest zone, but that, that learning zone, to me, that's the biggest zone because this is where you gain new skills. This is where you start learning new things. You learn new ways to handle situations or to maneuver through life you just learn a lot here in the learning zone however when these challenges arise you start to realize that you don't even handle them the same way because you're no longer in that comfort zone if you were still in that comfort zone you'd probably still be on the pool deck watching everybody have fun 
not actually learning the new games that everybody's playing in the pool that you can take back to your other group of friends. Like you, you just learn so many new things. You learn how to hold your breath underwater. You learn how to hold your breath underwater. You learn how to be strong through the dark times. Hold your breath underwater. This is where you learned it because you're no longer in your comfort zone. So when I was looking at this diagram, I'm like, comfort zone extended? What do you mean comfort zone extended? But the more I thought about it, I'm like, okay, I guess you're right because you'll always have a comfort zone. There's always going to be something in life that makes you feel comfortable. And if you're expanding your mind, expanding your thinking, expanding yourself outside of your old fears, of course, you're going to become comfortable, but you're going to have more. Like that comfort zone circle won't be as small. You're going to have more in that comfort zone. It's going to be more skills there. You're going to be, you're going to know a few more things there, but you're also going to be, you're going to be a new person in this new comfort zone because you were challenged. You overcame fears. You learn new things. You grew in certain ways. So it's a cycle. It continues to go. Yes, your comfort zone is extended because you're no longer comfortable with the small things. Now you're comfortable with bigger challenges in life. Now you're comfortable enough to go to the beach. You overcame the pool. Now we're going to the beach. So your comfort zone does get extended. But it's also going to start over again because now you're going to the beach. Now it's going to be, oh, sharks in the water or the fish on my feet. And it just, it starts over again. But that's the, that's the beauty of it. Change, progress, and growth happens over and over and over again. You're never fully grown. Growth doesn't stop. Change doesn't stop. That progress season, it doesn't stop. That's the beauty of it. So if if the learning zone, aka the progress zone, is so good, what's next? And how do we combat something that's good and keep pushing? So you want to remain open-minded for more. Don't just close yourself off because you've learned so much already. Okay, this is enough. Don't just close yourself off. Remain open-minded. Reflect on the things that have happened. Reflect on what you have learned from the process. And set realistic expectations for what's next. Don't overwhelm yourself with trying to do A through Z when you only completed A through D. Focus on the next steps. Don't focus on the whole plan and set realistic expectations for yourself. Because if you don't set real expectations and you don't complete these uh, astronomical expectations that you have for yourself, you're only going to feel like a bigger failure than you really are. Like you're really not failing. You just had these ridiculous expectations set on yourself when you really weren't equipped for all of what you had planned. Be realistic. Like, Come on. Ain't nobody tell you to go jump off a yacht in the middle of the ocean. Okay? We only on the the beach. We at the beach. Nobody told you to go jump in the middle of the ocean. We ain't made it there yet. We just got out the pool. Also, to make it out of the learning zone, gain, create that consistency in your life. Be consistent with whatever you are doing that's helping you grow. Don't stop it. Because if you stop it, you're only going to stump your growth. You're going to go backwards. Don't stop what you've been doing to get better. Don't stop practicing those little things because those little small things are going to create big results later on. So don't stop there. Just keep pushing. And if you want, track the progress that you're making. Make sure you keep a log of all the things that you've done, how you used to do it, how you do it now, because then you'll see where then you'll see what's really contributing to your growth. What's really helping you move the needle forward and push and progress in life. You will see that. And you will see even who is helping you 
progress and move that needle forward in life. So just track your progress and don't stop moving forward. Next is the growing zone, aka the grow zone. <laughs> this is what you were working for the whole time. This is why you put your foot in the water in the first place. Okay, this is the this is the ocean. Okay, it's finally time for you to jump in the ocean. Okay, this is what you've been working for. In the growing zone, you have a clear vision. You have a clear vision on what you want to do in life, where you want to go in life, what you're supposed to be doing with purpose. You finally figured it out. You finally got it. Like this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is who you're supposed to be. And it's, it's good here. It, you're finally seeing what you saw back then in the comfort zone. What you saw in your mind, you're actually seeing in real life. You got accomplishments coming out of the growth zone. You got congratulations coming out of the growth zone. You got I'm proud of you's coming out of the growth zone. Like there's so much good here. Like you're living the dream, literally. You're living out your wildest dreams right now. You're doing things that you never really thought you would do because you've made it through the fear. You've made it through all the things that you had to learn. And now you're implementing those things into your life. And you're seeing yourself grow. You're seeing the people around you grow. You're seeing what you've been working on grow. You're finally living out. You're living out the life you've been working for. How do you combat that? Because like I said, once you make it to this growth zone, it starts all the way over again. There are so many pillars in our lives where we need to grow. And where different growth can happen all the time. Like, it'll never stop. The change, the progressing, the growing, it'll never stop. But one thing's for sure, we will always get better at it. I use that simple scenario for the pool. That's something simple in life that we are afraid to do at one point. You're afraid to get in that cold water. But once you actually jump in, you're good. You're good. And you can grow on to the, you can grow to the beach. You can grow to the ocean. But something more serious in life is going to come around where you're going to have to text that friend. Okay, okay, you texted them. Now we're going to have to um, actually go talk in person. Okay, okay, we talked in person. Now we actually start have to start building a relationship. It never ends. There's always something to grow. And if you're not growing, you're not living. And that's just real. Never stop growing. Be open to expansion, especially if that's what you desire. Your dreams are right there, closer than you think. They're right there on the other side of the comfort zone, down the street from the fear zone, next door to the learning zone, the growth zone is right there. It's not far at all. You just have to put in the work, actually give it some effort, and you will see the growth happen over time. Thank you guys for tuning in once again to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I hope that it's shaking something up inside of you and get you moving, get you actually putting some effort in to creating a better life. Make sure that you guys like the video, comment, let us know what you think on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to us on the listening platforms as well, rate the show on our listening platforms. Check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com, and check us out on all our social medias as well. Mm, yeah, but that's all I have for you guys. So continue to change, progress, grow, be dynamic. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you